Henry's Law tells you how much gas will dissolve inside of a liquid, usually water, depending on how much of that gas is in the air above it. The classic equation here is that the Henry's Law constant, capital K subscript H, is the pressure, the partial pressure of that gas in the air above the liquid, divided by the concentration of the gas that can dissolve in the liquid. This changes depending on the gas and the temperature, and realistically, depending on the units you use for pressure and concentration, you could end up with different units of your KH as well. Now, the important thing to remember here is that you can rearrange this if you'd like, multiply both sides by C, divide both sides by KH, you end up with something like this. So the concentration goes up when the pressure the partial pressure of the gas goes up above it. Let's do a couple practice questions here. If the KH for carbon dioxide at room temperature is 29 liters atmospheres per mole, what is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide that you need to dissolve a whole 0.7 moles per liter of carbon dioxide into the water? Here, we are giving you KH check, and we are giving you the concentration C that we are looking for. What we don't know is what the pressure is that we require, how much carbon dioxide has to be in the air above it. Let's find out. The equation is KH equals P over C. The KH is 29, and I'm going to put the units here just to emphasize what's happening. The pressure is what we do not know, and the concentration is 0 0.7 moles per liter. In order to solve for P, we have to multiply both sides by 0 0.7. That's 29 liters atmospheres per mole, and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.7, and that's in moles per liter. Take a look at how the units end up canceling here. The liters per mole from the KH cancels with the moles per liter concentration that we're multiplying by. So the liters cancel, the moles cancel, we end up with just atmospheres. How many? 29 times 0.7. We would need 20.3 atmospheres of just carbon dioxide in the air above that water in order to force a whole 0.7 moles per liter to dissolve inside. Now, I know I haven't done sig figs here. Uh, this number only has one significant figure. So officially, you write your answer as 20 without a decimal place. There's one significant figure there, and the trailing zero doesn't count because there's no decimal. Anyways, now here, a new question. If the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 0 0.000365 atmospheres, now that's a small number, but it's also how much carbon dioxide is in the air around us. How much carbon dioxide dissolves in water due to this, like regular water at room temperature? Well, let's find out. The equation is KH equals P over C. And here, we're solving for C. Now, I'm going to rearrange this right in front of you to give you the equation that I showed you earlier. Multiply both sides by C and divide both sides by KH. Concentration is pressure divided by KH. 0 0.000365 atmospheres, and we are going to divide it by 29 liters atmospheres per mole. Now again with the unit cancelling, atmospheres divided by atmospheres, and we are dividing by liters per mole, which actually flips that answer into moles per liter. 0 0.000365 divided by 29. Oof, that's even smaller. I get a concentration of 0 0.000126. Cool. Now that unit is in moles per liter. If you needed to, you could, could, I don't know, multiply it by liters to get the total number of moles that would dissolve, and then you can convert that to grams if you want. Really depends on what you're asked. How much usually refers to the number of moles. 
uh, but it can also be grams. And here I'm just going to leave it as concentration for you. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny number. That's like 0.012 millimoles or something like that. I'm just going to do sig figs quickly. There's three significant figures here. We didn't use that number. That was a different question. And that was two significant figures. So I have to round this to two significant figures as well. That's one, three moles per liter. Cool. The real point here is that a higher pressure of carbon dioxide above the water will help you dissolve more carbon dioxide into the water because that's the way equilibrium works. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.